Hello trophy hunters, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the first ever episode of the Platinum Trophy Show Remastered. Let's kick off episode one. Welcome back guys. This is the Platinum Trophy Show. As, as some of you might know, if you're long time viewers of the channel, I used to do a monthly show slash podcast called the Platinum Trophy Show where we looked at PSN profiles and we looked at all the games that popped up that month. Well, this is my way of trying to bring that back. This is the Platinum Trophy Show Remastered. It's a redone, revitalized version of that same concept, except instead of monthly, I'm going to try and do it weekly, and we're going to see how we go from there. This whole thing might adapt, it might become monthly again, it might become a live stream, it might become a podcast, I don't know. I would like to, to have more audience input when doing this show, so the, the live stream idea I do really like, but we'll see how we go. For today though, what we're going to do is, the, the concept is really simple. We're going to look through PSN profiles, we're going to look at the entire first page on PSN profiles each week. Uh, so I'm going to try and upload it every Sunday slash Monday um, on a weekly basis and, and we'll go from there and we'll see kind of how that goes. So without further ado, let's kick things off. This is the Platinum Trophy show, the weekly show where we look at all the games that have popped up on PSN profiles that week. We scroll through the first page of the list and we evaluate everything that's popped up there. We take a look at the things that look like they could be easy Platinums and, and we have a conversation about it and that's the Platinum Trophy show. So without further ado, let's dive in. Maybe I'll start at the bottom. That probably makes more sense because the games could be older. Let's have a look here. The great thing about doing it like this as well, we can see who's earned the trophies and how many, what the percentages are. So we can actually evaluate more easily what some of the interesting trophies that have popped up are. So we've got a couple of cool things that have come in here. So down, let's skip Iron Fury and we're down the rabbit hole. Doesn't have a platinum trophy, but it's a VR game. It's worth checking out. I haven't checked it out yet, so that's a little bit rich of me to say, but it looked awesome when it came to uh, Oculus and Vive about a month or two ago. Uh, Trials of Mana, which has got a really high average percent for a JRPG. I I'm not really sure why, because the game isn't an easy platinum by any stretch. It's a 4% on the PlayStation Network, but an 18% on PSN profiles. It's not an easy platinum though, it's a time consuming one. 40 hours, three playthroughs, two out of 10 difficulty. So I'm not sure why that's so high. Maybe people are just starved for a JRPG at the moment, um, but it's got a super high average. Uh, Guards Duty, I don't know what that is. Oh, this is a Radalika Games title. Come out in other regions and it's got a super easy platinum. This is just a stack of that, so we're not going to talk about that one. Stids, which is a new game coming out this week. Um, the I thought it was going to be easy, but people are saying that according to the Xbox version of it, it is a little bit time consuming um, and you have to play through the game like seven times. So something to keep in mind. Uh, Deliver Us to the Moon has got a 45% completion. 30% uh, uh, yeah. It's got like a low bronze number, uh, but I don't know what this is. It's like a first person. I'm confused about this because it says the game came out last year, yet, and a lot of people have earned the trophies, including the Platinum. It appears that this thing came out the end of April, but it's only just had its trophy list go live now, which is really weird. I wonder about that. Let's have a look at what people are saying about it, because this, uh, this looks like it could potentially not be a too challenging platinum as well. Oh, there you go, seven to nine hours and chapter select. That's uh, that's a good thing. It's apparently it's got chapter select, so there's nothing that would mean nothing's missable. And then everything I can see here, it just looks like there's tons of collectibles. Uh, clicked dossier files, audio logs, clicked a piece of scannable information. So if there's a guide on Steam for that, then that's potentially a really easy one. We've got moving out. It's not an easy platinum list. Uh, it does look like a really quirky game though, and uh, I'm hoping to do a first play of that this week. Um, to try that one out myself. I've got Book of Demons, 27%, we'll miss that. Read 2, which pops up like four times on this list, is a um, a game coming out this week actually, which looks to be a, like a action platformer puzzle game, where you've got to collect like the blocks to open the doors, so it's like you click the it's like a small environment, you click the key, it opens a door, you go to the next environment. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of like Super Meat Boy-esque in the terms of a small like puzzled area. Um, 
yeah, I'm having a blank on what I can compare it to. Uh, but it looked really, really easy. And then looking at the trophy list, uh, 11 golds. Um, basically for finding hidden levels, finding snow on a level, picking up a sword, finding a horse. It's like finding all the hidden bits and pieces in a game. Um, but that's definitely going to be an easy platinum. And there's so many stacks of it as well. Uh, the inner friend didn't have a platinum, unfortunately. Uh, there's a Zora Striker. No... Let's talk about Jigsaw Abundance. This was a game that came out last week on the US store. It didn't come out in Europe. I don't know why. This one here is, again, another really, really easy platinum. I think this one's only going to take you a couple of hours. It's Essentially, it's just a puzzle game. You just have to go through and complete the puzzles, and you get given the platinum. We've got a 90% completion on this one, which is crazy. It means it's just so, so easy. Um, we have 249 achievers. And if we look at the speed, the fastest person got it in 16 minutes. So, you know, you can kind of extrapolate from there. It's going to take you like half an hour to get that platinum. So, yeah, Jigsaw Abundance, another really easy platinum to earn. This one here, I didn't even know was coming to PS4, and I'm really, really glad it did. Uh, this is The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Now, the cool thing about this is it is a VR game based in the Walking Dead universe, but it doesn't use any of the, like, characters or anything from the show or the comics. It's, like, it's completely, it's its own thing just within that universe. And the game looks awesome. Looking at the gameplay on uh, Vive and Oculus, it genuinely looks like one of the best VR games that's launched uh, for VR, period. So I'm really, really excited for this to be coming to PlayStation VR. I'm really keen to check this one out. Um... I don't even know if this is a VR. There's a comment here saying VR exclusive. Uh, the I've looked at the Steam achievement list and it doesn't look like an easy sort of list of trophies. And these are the same as that. Yeah, some people complaining that it might be exclusive to VR on there. But yeah, it's like, it's a standard trophy list, this one here. It's like a standard, I would consider it like a double A style game, maybe even a triple A game for VR standards. And it looks solid. I'm really keen to, to try this one out at some point. I don't know when it's coming out uh, yet, though, so it's definitely one to, to keep an eye on. Uh, we've got Gun Crazy, which is another super easy platinum trophy. This one here came out last week as well. It's it's hilarious when you see a list and it's just 100% all the way down the list. One silver, 11 golds, and a platinum. It's, yeah, this is an easy one as well. I think you can get this platinum done in like 16 minutes uh, if you know what you're doing. And it stacks like three or four times as well on the different stores. So another really easy platinum trophy there for you guys. Uh, Active Neurons. This is a uh, another one similar to that. This is a, a block puzzle game. Uh, but it's, it's super easy as well. Again, I think this one's going to take you about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to get the platinum in. Um, nine golds, seven silvers, and three bronze. There's nothing in here that is going to be challenging. 87% is the Platinum, which means the hardest trophies in the game are these ones here for charging the 8th Neuron and charging the Brain. The It is a puzzle game, so obviously if you don't have the solution, it's challenging or time-consuming, but if you just watch a guide with the solution on it, then you can finish the game in, in no time at all. We've got another stack for active Neurons. Um, yeah, we'll skip through these. Ah, Task Force Campus. This is another game coming out this week. Uh, again, seven golds and 14 silvers, no bronze. Um, this one here, like, I don't know for certain that it's going to be easy, but given there's no difficulty trophies and given there's so many golds, I, I would assume it is. Uh, I don't know if they did this on purpose or if this is, like, just me, but they've got a gold every two trophies. It's like two silvers, gold, two silvers, gold, two silvers, gold. Like, I don't know if that's intentionally a, a pattern they've created, I feel like it kind of has to be. Uh, if you guys did do that on purpose, that's really cool. I like that. I, I don't know why. It just gets me in the OCD for some reason. Um, but the trophies are for like dying one time, two times, five times. Like dying five times gets you a gold trophy. So I, I assume this is going to be a, you know, a pretty easy platinum to get as well. Uh, I'm going to check this one out later in the week and I will know for sure. But I'm, I'm relatively confident that that's going to be the case. Oh, it's probably uh, worthwhile mentioning what this game actually is, to be fair, as well. It's like a shoot 'em up space game. You're in a, you're flying a ship, and you've got a. It's like those old school shoot 'em ups. Um, I don't. It's not a twin stick shoot 'em up. It's just a shoot 'em up. So yeah, that's what that is. Uh, 
I think we'll leave a few of these. We're getting actually pretty close to the top again. Twin Breaker's got another uh, another stack for the Asian version. Demons tier, don't know what any of these are. Island Saver doesn't have a platinum, and then Reed two again. Let's let's do the wonderful 101 as our last one. Not because it's probably it's probably going to be hard, but because uh, this was a really cool game that was on the Wii U. So this one here, you play as like a bunch of superheroes, and you have to defeat like villains and stuff like that. It's like an action hack and slash, I guess you would call it. The Trophies look like they're for defeating each of the different enemies, completing the different missions, completing all stages and 101% hard. Probably going to be the trophy that gets a lot of people I can see so far. Maxing out all the characters. Yeah, this is one of those like standard, like finish all the missions, get everything to 100%, finish on all the difficulties. This is your like pretty standard like Japanese action trophy list yeah so probably going to be a slightly more challenging one but it's kind of interesting it's cool that that game's coming to be honest it's the, the fact that they managed to bring that to ps4 is impressive in itself yeah i think that's probably it like that i think we've gone over time i wanted to try and get this to about 12 minutes so i'll see if i can cut this back a little bit and, and maybe get it to 12 minutes but that's the idea is to keep it as a nice short sharp 12 minute video just going over all the game releases this month uh, this week this week and then repeating it every week as well. So that is all the games that are, that are on the first page of PSN profiles for this week. Maybe I've missed something. Maybe I've got something completely wrong. Or maybe I've helped you. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of this video and this, this sort of um, format, I suppose. And, uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Um, is there anything here that you guys are going to be playing today? Uh, this, is there anything here that you guys have played or are going to be playing? Let me know as well, and uh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like the video, um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.